Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back to the All About Favorite channel. I'm your host, Pastor KZ. Y'all, I'm still representing Black History Month. So here's another t-shirt, and it has some of our pioneers on. Um, Dubois, Elliot, uh, we got Madam C.J. Walker. We got, who else we got on here? We got Dr. King. We got Harriet Tubman, the Moses of her day. We got... Um, we got Marcus Garvey. We got so many different people to represent. Just make sure you take a few moments this month, since we are given one month, even though Black History Month is every month, you need to remember the pioneers and the people whose shoulders we stand on. Now, it is Friday, and I just want to give you a little food for thought for today. And think about this topic. Don't play with people's emotions. Don't play with people's emotions. Hmm. The reason I'm bringing this topic up today is because of an email. I Like I said, I had received a lot of emails over Thanksgiving and Christmas, and I want to just touch on some of the topics that they gave me. And one email in particular, I felt that might help someone watching who might have experienced this or, or, or have, have this same story. So let's talk about it today. Do you know people or a person who may have taken or is taking you on an emotional roller coaster? Okay, y'all know what a roller coaster is. You've been to Bush Gardens or Disney World. You know what a roller coaster is. Up and down, up and down. It's it's just always something with them. Just when you think you've leveled off on a roller coaster, whoo, there's a dip and then it brings you up real fast. Some people do that to you. Know why they do it? Because you allow it. An emotional roller coaster. You got to know when somebody is playing with your emotions and playing games with you. And you've got to identify when a person is not being genuine with you. And it is not okay. For you, if you're doing it, it's not okay for you to be playing games with people and taking people on these emotional ups and downs. If you don't want to be with a person, don't waste their time. And the same goes for you. And some of you already know you're wasting your time with someone, but you're still stuck there. That's on you. Some people do nothing but play games with you. Playing games is not a good thing, y'all. And eventually somebody's going to get hurt. And you got to understand a person's intent. You know if someone's intentions is genuine. You know if your intent is genuine. If you are not sincere, you better be careful how you treat people because it will come back to you. So don't you be guilty of this. Some people say things they don't like in people, but yet they do the same thing to somebody else. You ever met somebody like that? You're saying something, but your actions don't match up with your words. So be careful how you're playing around with people's emotions because there's some people who just really not emotionally stable, y'all. There's some people out there with some mental problems that has gone undiagnosed and they don't have any medications. They don't have the Lord on their side. And you have to be careful how you are acting towards people. Now, let me say this. The reason I'm talking about this today is because our emotions, our emotions can put us in a danger zone. And there are always things to alert us. Remember last week when I was talking about your gut feeling, your intuition, your spirit of discernment, that will always tell you a person's intent. You have got to, I can't emphasize that enough. And I'm going to do probably a whole week on nothing but your spirit of discernment and that gut feeling because that is something everybody seems to be talking about. Your gut feeling will let you know a person's intention. And usually your first mind, as, as the old people used to say, my grandmother and them used to say, my first mind told me this. And when you think back, there was always a sign. This trait in a person, it don't just slip up on you. And as Dr. Maya Angelou says, God rest her soul, she says, when people show you who they are, believe them the first time. 
And she goes on to say, not the second, not the third, but who they showed you, that is who they are. And if this person has shown you that they like to play little mind games and, and, and all of that kind of stuff, now it's up to you to break that cycle and get away from them right away. Stop them in their tracks and move on with your life. But I want to say this, don't you dare do that to other people. What you don't want done to you, don't you do it to someone else. Because you know what? I'm going to just take this somewhere. You might think you have gotten away, but don't think your children will get away. Yeah, because sometimes what you do might not come back on you. It might affect your children or your children's children. So you've got to walk in compassion for people. Uh, you've got to learn how to really have empathy for people and sympathy for people and be genuine with, with, with your experiences and how you feel. Stop messing with God's children. I always like to tell people, I don't care what people say about me or what you do, but be careful because I am a daughter of the Most High. And he says in his word, vengeance is mine saith the Lord. I will repay. I'm not going to try to spend time getting revenge and getting you back. I'm going to get on my knees. And what happens then happens. So you've got to stop being manipulative of people. Stop doing that emotional manipulation is what I like to call it. Don't hurt people on purpose. Don't intentionally try to hurt somebody. Don't try to seek revenge on people and do those type of things. That's not what you need to be doing. And I want to say, if someone is doing that to you, they have serious consequences that's going to happen. And if you're doing it, you will have consequences. You will pay. And if, if you are feeling like you deserve better and this person just playing with your mind and playing games with you and they not for real, do something about it. Move on with your life. Don't waste your time there. Cut ties with them and be okay with it. Wish them well, and you go your way. Get focused, y'all. Find your balance. And whatever you do, protect and prioritize your peace. Don't play games with people, and don't let people play manipulation games with you. Go ahead and comment. Tell me what you think about the videos, not just for today's video, but all this week. If you want to put some comments, go ahead. You can email me, but please go to my YouTube channel and hit thumbs up. Like the video and share the video with other people. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel and you don't follow me on Instagram, hit subscribe and the notification bell. And also follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Facebook. Y'all be well. Have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget, it's Black History Month. Love on yourself. And you know what? Show kindness to someone else. I'll see you back Monday.